In the previous tutorial, we already know how to create a HP GUI dynamically. Now we are going to create a timer allow us to count down seconds in the game. For the, for more detail, we need to do the run up the timer to make it looks better, and also display timer while timer is still counting, and stop counting when the object is broken. Go back to the Unity, open the GUI control, gameplay, and uh, let's uh, give a section called a timer control in here, and uh, give a variable called the timer in here. Timer need to set to float format, and uh, we set to uh, to ten initially because it's float so we need to put F in here and this should be the private bar it's okay and we put an update in here and call it timer equal to timer minus time dot delta time that's the previous test Let's do that from scratch. Give it a section called a timer control in the GUI. We use GUI label to create a timer. Create a timer GUI display. Start from the zero in the X position, zero at the Y position. Uh, size will be 64 by 64 the dynamic test text will show like this by using this way let's make a quick look for this one and using the style see how it looks like in the game we have some arrows we need to fix first okay that's uh, we forgot something in here and what else okay let's check in the game something is running right now but the position not quite right let's maybe put uh, 128 real quick sure some part we cannot see because uh, we set the size too small let's say 256 Okay, we can see something, and the counting down from ten seconds, and from sixty-four. Let's check again. Okay, it's counting down from ten seconds, seven, eight, six, but uh, it looks kind of weird and not good looking, so we need to change it into something better looking and we also need to remove the decimals we still put it in zero and uh, let's do some polish work before that we want to move this uh, data to the data center let's call it timer update and it will be float start from 10 seconds go back to the gameplay by bit far in the start function we want to set timer to initial value 
to the same initial value in the data center called timer update. If we put this one in zero or nothing, then it should still show up 10 seconds. Let's take a look. Okay, still good. And then let's do some polish work for now. For doing that, we need to do something to make it uh, to remove the decimal. We need something called a round up seconds. And then using this function that what's going on? Sell to INT make the remove the remove the decimals and we give a variable called round up seconds okay and for this round up seconds We also need to convert into string. Maybe we don't need, but uh, for some reason, it's safe. Round up seconds to to string, and we we'll put this one to replace this one. Let's take a look. Oh, lots of arrows. Oh, we forgot to do something. We need to declare this one. And also the timer text. This also will be the private bar. And uh, as the we want to set this one to int only, and set timer text to string. Let's check again. Hit play, tap on the object. Okay, you can see right now it's start counting from 10 seconds, and we only can see the integers in here, and it looks better right now. Let's tweak the position real quick. Still set to C state 4. Okay, also right. 